But let's stay a bit on this with the labor unions because it appears that it is not only UTAG that is taking a detour or departure from the position of TUC. Ibrahim Kumsen is the General Secretary of the Ghana Federation of Labor, also a member of TUC, one of the key labor unions in the TUC, Ghana Federation of Labor. He's joining us on the telephone. Mr. Kumsen, good evening. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. First off, you were at this, at this meeting earlier today, together with your, your Deputy General Secretary, Ken, Kenneth Kumsen, I see in that video we played earlier. Is the Ghana Federation of Labor in support of the TUC's decision to call off this strike beginning tomorrow? Well, I would say no. You see, the problem is about the organizer itself. I've been saying it, that we are not organized. If we are properly organized, we have dealt with this issue in a manner that a positive results would have been, you know, achieved. But we are not organized. I've been saying this time and again that we need to put structures in place that will help to, you know, pursue these uh, uh, struggles. The problem has to do with the government, the president himself. We know of Professor from Paul Whiting's report, and it was very clear, emphatic, that the people involved in this galaxy are all at the presidency. So if you detail military guys to go and go and stop it, is there some camouflage? Because when they leave Accra, they will call them and say, look, why? It's our, it's our job, it's our business. So please, 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 turn down. Don't, don't go and then, you know, harass the guys. The people, unless we, we uproot the source, the people who are behind this, this whole uh, uh, activity, the king things. So you see me, all along I had issues with my colleagues in the, in the, in the organized labor fraternity. I had issues because we have not been able to structure ourselves and we are just beating about the bush. Because I was at the meeting Monday and it was an eyesore. The way people were throwing bows and all this, this if we have really structured ourselves, this is what happened. And it, I've been stressing on structure, structure, structure. I think last I said it on your, on your program that mm. we used to have the Industrial License Act of 1965, which recognized only the TUC as the representative of Ghanaian workers. We were the mouthpiece, and that was it. So you are not in favor of this decision by the TUC? You don't support it, just like Utah, Ghana Federation Labor is also taking the same path, and you're saying this is more of a result of the a disorganized organized labor, correct? Completely disorganized. We are not organized. So we don't take such decisions, which was okay. It was okay for the country. But the process, the approach, wasn't the best. Because you don't declare strike at the top there when your, 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 uh, your grassroots members or your locals are not, they don't even understand why you are doing that. So you start to discuss at the, at the, at the levels, the, the, the branches, for them to discuss these challenges of uh, Galamse. And so it will build up to the top. So when you say, hey, let's move, everybody understands what you are doing. Have you heard Ashanti region, one lecturer, they say he's MPP. That's not even an issue. But he came with very, very, you know, uh, sensible uh, uh, concerns. That, ah, you have the case, like, we are not aware. How, how did you arrive at that decision? So, you see, it is the approach in our own structures. That's the problem that we had. I don't, I mean, I'm not surprised. I knew that nothing was going to come out of this. It would have been better if we had seen them back on demonstrations. That we have even, even brought some results. 
I see. But and, and before I let you go, how about the, your reaction to those who suspect that some of you, the leaders of organized labor, were compromised with money? I mean, Dr. Makuba, I'm sure you, you heard him made reference to that suspicion. You are a member of the leadership of, of organized labor. At least you lead Ghana Federation of Labor. Do you also ha have that suspicion that some of your leaders could have been compromised? Why not? I do. Because, you see, government, every government, no, we have very big ears, big eyes, big wrong hands. So, where they can see, you, you cannot see. So, we have a way of this, not only this regime, I mean, it happens from the military up to the, they, they do it. So, if you are not organized yourself, they will easily infiltrate and do so many funny, funny things that it, it happens. And I me, mean, I, I won't be surprised if really, me, I haven't seen any money yet, but me, they will not even a, a, attempt. I need money, but not this, uh, uh, what, blood money. I, I don't like it. They won't even attempt. But I know some people, their morals are such that they don't care. Even if the money is coming from Kuku uh, Firi's camp, they will take it. So that one, it, it happens. But I cannot point at anybody that this man took this or that. That one, I can't tell. But we all suspect. Because people started, you know, uh, mentioning some amount and all that. It could, it could be true. Because it's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that we got into this stage without any 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 any, any result because you know that this garant stop and these uh, uh, task forces that they, none of them work and so if government is again promising <laughs> why is it possible they cannot they, they, nothing will happen I'm telling you if the state of emergency had been declared that one even the chiefs and opinion leaders at various where this mining is, is taking place. Could have been, you know, brought on board to all help. And the small scale managed to have all been brought on board for them to help. Or otherwise, their business to also spoil. 